Hey, let's start with a new interface that is required to be implemented for us to keep using MVVM. So the interface that I'm talking about is the I command interface. Now to demonstrate its use, I have created a button here below my last text block. And you know, remember that normally if you wanted to handle a click of this button, you would want to create a new event handler, which was going to execute whenever the event, in this case, the click event was triggered. But we don't want to do that anymore. We are experts and we want to have no code behind. So we want to create a class on the view model that is going to be part of the view model that is going to allow us to execute certain code without having to write it on the code behind of this class or, or this page. So in this case, we are going to go to the project and I want to add a new folder. This folder is going to be where all of my view models are going to be located. So I'm going to call this view models. And inside of this folder, I would actually like to create a new folder for the commands. So the commands are going to be part of the view model. But I do want to have some order, so I want to create a specific folder for them. So now that this is, these folders are here, I will create a new class inside of the view models folder, outside of the comments folder, but inside of the view models folder. Okay, so I've named this class view model base. And first of all, I want to make this class a public class. And so inside of this class, I will have all of the code that is supposed to be executed. So first of all, I'm going to need the constructor. And right now I won't define anything inside of it. Just bear with me. You will need the constructor. But I do want some methods that are going to execute whenever the command is called or whenever, in this case, the button is click. So I just want to call the first one simple method, like this. And all I'm going to do is send something to the debugger. I don't really want to do anything right now. I just want to say hello, just to prove that this is executing. And for that, I will also need to add a breakpoint right here. OK. So now that I have this, I'm going to close this for a second. And inside of the commands folder, I would actually add my first command. So right click, add new class. And I'm going to call this class a simple command. It's, it's a good practice to name your commands ending with the command word, but it's not necessary. It's just a good practice. So I will define this class C public and I want to implement the I command interface. So add the system.windows.input namespace and implement the interface. Now, as you can see, this interface is more exciting than the iNotify property change interface. The iNotify property change interface only added an event. This one has an event and two methods. So the event is just going to be raised when we can execute changes. So a, a, a command can either be executed or not be executed. So whenever this property changes, the event uh, can execute changed will trigger. Now the method which returns a boolean that is called can execute will tell the user interface in a very neat way if it can or cannot be executed. In fact, if I were to return false in here, any button that is bound to this command will just not be able to execute. It wouldn't even be available to be clicked. It will be like 
uh, grayish just not be able the user won't be able to even press that button but right now I don't want to do that I will I just want to return true now of course I can make some evaluations here in fact we are going to do so in the next lecture but right now I will just return true and in the can execute in, in the execute method is where the action is going to happen so before I add anything here I'm going to need a constructor and the constructor is going to receive a parameter of type view model base now this is because I need a name for this parameter like this okay so this is because I'm I'm also going to need a property of type view model base and I want to set its value to that one from the constructor and this is just because I want to come back here to the execute method and call the simple method from the view model base okay so the command is ready the last thing that I need to do is head back to the view model base and remember that we have a constructor that is just empty right now first I need a property which is going to be of type simple command and I do need to add a using reference and I'm going to call this simple command command and that is going to be initialized in the constructor so I can do something like this and remember that we created a constructor for the simple command that receives a view model base so I will just send this perfect so now I'm ready to close this and head back to my main page and of course the first thing that I want to do is build the solution so the compiler is aware of my new simple commands my new classes and I'm going to add a reference to a new namespace which I'm going to call commands and no this is not commands this is view model I'm going to call this a VM and now I can actually make a reference to the view model base and I have to add a key and I'm going to name this key view model. Okay. And now back in the button, I could start writing as you can see it has a command property, but I don't want to do it because it's a little bit longer than doing just this. I can actually come to the properties menu. I'm going to pull put this here for just a second and with the button selected you can see that it actually has the command property right here so I will go to this little square to the right and I'm going to create data binding so at this point I can actually select the type of binding and I want this to be of static resource and in here I have the view model and as you can see of course the view model has the simple command because simple command is a property of the view model base so I select that as the path and I click OK and as you can see back in the button I have a command which is binding to a simple command and taking the simple command from a source which is going to be the view model now you may not fully understand this let me explain just a little bit the command is going to be setting from the source which is a static resource of view model remember that view model is the static resource that we define for the page so we are setting that as the source and finally the path remember that this is just like doing this the path is going to be simple command so from the source we're going to get the path in this case the simple command property of the, the view model so now that we have this I will go ahead and run this 
And remember that I have a breakpoint just to prove that everything is executing the way it's supposed to execute. So as soon as this run this, I should be able to press the button and call the command. Now, since this is just a simple command, I don't need to write anything in here. I will just click the command. And as you can see, indeed, the simple command method is executing, as you can see here in my breakpoint. So great, now you know how to use the iNotify property changed and the iCommand interfaces. In the next lecture, we're going to take commands to it, the next level, and we're actually going to start evaluating something in the can execute method. So we return through or false depending of the parameter that we are going to receive. So without further ado, I have to encourage you again to go and check my Windows Universal Lab development course. Now we will be covering everything about MVVM here on YouTube in the coming videos. But if you want to learn just a lot more about other stuff regarding Windows Universal Lab development, go ahead and check this course. Like I said, during the course, we talk about a lot of things, not only MVVM. In the course, you could actually find the foundations of using SAML with C Sharp. You, will, uh, you can also learn a little bit more about object-oriented programming. We will actually be integrating Visual Studio Online as a version control of your Windows applications. Uh, we will be covering adding more pages to an application. We are going to be covering text to speech and speech to text so you can talk directly to your application or so your application can talk to you back. We're going to take pictures with your application. We're going to use persistence with application settings and SQLite databases, notifications through the live tiles, HTTP integration, this MBBM curse, um, Azure, sharing code between platforms, a lot of things. So why don't you go ahead and give it a, give it a look. And if you like it, you like how it looks, go ahead and purchase it for only $29, just for you who's watching this video, $29 instead of 129, which is the original price. Now you have the link right there, or you will have the link in the description below. Just make sure to check it out and start getting ready for Windows 10.